वेलकम टू स्टार टेक अकेडमी वे यू विल लर्न समथिंग न्यू एवरी डे सो इफ यू नो एस क्यू एल यू माइट हैव सीन वेरियस प्लेटफॉर्म दैट बी यूज टू प्रैक्टिस एंड लर्न एस क्यू एल बट ऑल दीज प्लेटफॉर्म आर काइंड ऑफ बोरिंग एंड दे हैव बोरिंग क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी एन इंटरेस्टिंग वे टू लर्न एंड प्रैक्टिस एस क्यू एल वी गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ मर्डर मिस्ट्री येस यू हेड राइट इट्स योर टाइम टू बी अ डिटेक्टिव or a cid member the choice is yours so let's see the problem statement so this game is created by night lab at northwestern university here you can use your sql skills to hunt down the killer that is loose in sql city so the game is free for all and there is no need to set up anything you can run your queries online okay so let's read it out sql murder mystery can you find who done it Okay, let's read more. There's been a murder in SQL CD. The SQL murder mystery is designed to be both a self-directed lesson to learn SQL concepts and commands, and a fun game for experienced SQL users to solve an intriguing crime. Okay, if you are new to SQL, this exercise is meant more as a way to practice SQL than a full tutorial. So it's not a kind of tutorial. What you have to do if you are new to SQL, then you can go to this link. and try a walk through which will give you a walk through throughout the problem statement it will guide you to learn uh, these things as well and if you really want to learn sql then you may prefer a tutorial as well so they have the link to tutorial as well i'll add this link in the description of the video and these link you can uh, just go through the video as well okay if you are comfortable with sql then you can dive in below so it says experience sql sleuth start here but you don't need to be experienced you just need simple basic sql knowledge like querying the data where clause which is filtering the data and some pattern matching using like statement that is simply basic sql and if you know this you will be able to solve this mystery okay let's get started so a crime has taken place and the detective needs your help the detective gave you a crime scene report but you somehow lost it oh my god how clumsy you are okay so you vaguely Remember that the crime was a murder that occurred sometimes on January fifteen, two thousand and eighteen, and it took place in SQL CD. So start by retrieving the corresponding crime scene report from the police department database. We'll do it. Let's read more. Exploring the database structure, experienced SQL users can often use database queries to infer. the structure of the database but each database system has different ways of managing this information the sql murder mystery is built using sql light so we'll use sql light queries use the sql commands to find tables in the murder mystery database okay so let's just run this query this is simple query we have to run to see what database we have so we have these different tables like crime scene report then the drivers license we will see how where we can use these tables we have facebook event check ins as well okay we have interviews get fit now membership i guess it it's kind of a gym uh, get fit now and uh, then get fit now check in get solution we have uh, income and person okay moving forward beside knowing the table names you need to know how each table is structured i mean what type of columns these table have you know how many columns and different different data types and all uh, the way this works is also dependent upon which database technology you use okay so here you do it with sqlite once again so let's run it so this is the uh, structure of crime scene report table we can just simply change the names of the table and see the structures so this table has date which is an integer type type which is a text type and uh, it has description which is once again text type and city which is once again text type so four column this crime scene report have so the date will include the date of the crime the type maybe murder maybe theft or something like that then the description whatever the description they must have put in in the city okay the rest is up to you you have to do it So if you're really comfortable with SQL you can probably get it from here if not I am here to guide you okay but click uh, here to show the schema diagram okay let's just click it in so this is the schema we have so schema is just arrangement of different tables and the relationship between them 
Okay, so here one thing I can notice is that this key symbol, if I'll be able to zoom it. Yeah, so here you can see that there's a key symbol in here. So this is the primary key. This ID is for driving license. So this might be driver's license ID. And uh, this person ID is a different thing, uh, which is also present in this table. Here you can see the person ID coming from the person table. And uh, yeah, this table has license ID. This might be this ID, which is coming from the driver license table. This is SSN, which is present here as well. So this is the type of relationship we have, the license ID. You can see the relationships as well. This relationship license ID and uh, this ID are same in the, both the tables. That is why we have created the relationship in the schema. Okay, so let me just unzoom it. Right. Okay, so the relationship is clear. You can see that this person ID is uh, related to this ID. And this person ID once again in the Facebook event is once again related to here. And in the interviews, the person ID is once again related to person. Here, these two tables are related to the gym. So the gym membership ID is here and here. And these two tables are not related to any of the table. These are separate table. This one is a crime scene report. And this one is the solution. Okay, it also says that you can always go to walkthrough. Let's click in here and see what they have. Okay, so this is the basic one, uh, which if you don't know uh, SQL, then you can go through this. All right. Okay, so now we have to write here some queries. Okay, so we have to follow few steps. What I will do is I will create a document in which whatever results I have, I'll just put it in that document so that we uh, will be clear step by step. So let me just add a document from here. So I'll just add a doc file from here and let's add a blank duck file and let's just keep it out and make two sections of the screen okay let's just uh, a little bit right so this will uh, make it easy for me to remember whatever result i have and i'll read all the things in here and we'll put the information in this document okay so first thing we need uh, we have the information that when the crime happened so yeah here let me just copy this okay so let's just paste it in here uh, let's just remove this right we just need the information okay so the crime was murder and it happened sometimes on january 15 took place in sql city okay right or let's just make it even smaller okay so we need to write a query for this so here we have the crime scene report that has the date it also has the type the type will be like murder type then the description is not uh, what we have we have the city so we have the city name we have the date and uh, let's write a query for that so i'll use simple select statement select uh, let's select star from uh, the table name which is the crime scene report crime scene report okay uh, so if I run this query, let me just run it to see what type of data I have. So you can see that we have the dates. Uh, the dates are in this format. So this is the SQLite format. Uh, this is the date format. This is year, this is month and this is date. Then we have the type which is robbery, murder, theft, fraud and all these different description and the city. Okay, so we can put a where clause in here. Where, not where be, where. Okay, so where, uh, first we'll use type type is equals to murder okay now we will use and and uh, we'll give date yeah date will give and the date will be 2018 zero 01 and 15 okay and the third thing is city okay so once again and city all right so those of you know what we're doing in here they know but those who don't I'm using a where clause to filter out the data and this and is something which is a logic uh, that if all these conditions satisfied then it will give me the data okay so the city is SQL city okay let's uh, run this query all right so we have this description okay we can copy this description here and paste it in here okay let's just uh, make it normal and let's paste this query as well because in the end, if you want, uh, I'll add this document file in the description as well. 
Okay, so it says secure footage shows that there were two witnesses. The first witness lives in the last house of Northwestern DR, Northwestern district it may be. And the second witness is named Annabel. So it is the first name, uh, the last name is not given and lives somewhere in Franklin AVE, which may be Franklin Avenue. Okay, so now we have the details of two different witnesses. So let's uh, go to the schema. Right, so here in the person, we have the uh, street name, the address street name. So these are the street names because we don't have any other uh, like uh, any other town name or any other thing. So these might be the street names. So we'll use the street name to get the data of uh, the person who is living in the last house of Northwestern district as well as the second witness name start with Annabelle. Okay, let's just write the query. So we'll change the table name to person. So let's just write person. And in the where clause, I will use the address street name the address street name and that name will be northwestern district let me copy it from here and paste it here so that is the first condition so let's just remove the other part of the query okay the second thing i would like to do let's just first run it and see yeah so we have multiple data in there we have a lot of data okay so what we can do is we can order it because we need the last house so with the house number so we have the address number so with the address number what we can do we can uh, take the last house so order by order by address address number and in ascending order right let's just run it okay so in the last yeah this uh, mortis cafario is the witness okay so let's just copy the query let's just copy it okay so i'll just paste this one uh you guys can edit it to you know for the second query as well okay so we'll just uh paste the output as well so we have this uh, person so let's just copy the structure of the table and i'll just add it the detail uh into that so i need this okay so in that way it will be in form of a table and if i copy this and paste it here right so we got it and i'll just delete this okay so the id is uh, this and the name is this one so let's make it bold all right so we need this person's data to identify the other details so let's just first talk about the second witness who lives in the franklin avenue so we just change the street name so control C and we'll change it in here. Okay, so one more condition we need to add here is the name. So I'll add it here where the name like and I will add Annabelle percent. All right. And I will add and clause and let's run it. So this is the data for Annabelle living in the Franklin Avenue and this is our second witness so we got two witnesses one is uh, mortis cafario and other is annabel miller okay so we got their other informations as well okay so what we can do now is we can uh, go to back to the schema and here we have the interview table and with respect to this person id this id i can check their interviews as well so let's just go to the interview table let's change it to interview and where the person id let's remove these and change it to person id and the person id is what we know so i'll copy first for morty and paste it here and remove other from this okay so we got the first person okay so i heard a gunshot then saw a man ran out okay so there was a man who is the suspect he had a get fit now gym bag okay so we have this gym details as well so we'll uh, look into the gym detail as well the membership number bag started with okay so we have his membership number as well okay let's just copy it and paste it in here okay let's make it a little all right so we got this gym name we got this 
bag number that will be the uh, membership number that is 48z so it might have other uh, characters as well but it starts with 48z so that will be true the gold members have those bags only okay so the membership type is gold so we can look into that as well the man got into a car so that is only again a detail with a plate including this so it says including okay not start with or ends with so it will include this okay so we'll see that that is our first information we'll just change the uh, person id to annabel miller and see what she said about the killer okay i saw the murder happened and i recognized the killer from my gym so once again the gym is something which we have to look on okay so this guy was last seen on january 9th so that might be another interesting detail so let's just copy the text okay so now we can check the details from the gym all right so what we have here is we have the membership id that it starts with this and this guy was seen on january 9th okay so here we have the id so we can just put a pattern matching for the id and see the guy's name but let's just first get to get fit now uh, check in okay so let's see get fit now check in and here the membership id is what we need membership id is not equal to it is like and it starts with 48 z percent and the check-in date is what we know check in because if the guy was seen in the gym he might have checked in check-in date is equals to okay so january 9th and that must be 2018 as well so 218 oh, it's, it's a date type so okay 218 01 and 09 all right let's run it okay check id date okay so check in date it is let's run it once again all right so we got two people with the different ids so the ids are there all right so we'll try to use these ids and match it with the other information we have for this person so this person is a gold member so the membership type can be uh, checked and then so we don't need know the card but yeah we can see the member now so now member okay so id is i'll remove like so we'll check it for the first person which is this okay and we'll remove the check-in details i'll run it and here you can see okay so we have uh, this member is gold and if i change this so this member is also gold okay so both the members are gold so we cannot sort them from here what we will do is we will take their details and paste them in here i will just first copy this query and paste it here for you all and then i will copy this table and paste it in here and for this first person as well just copy it and write i'll paste it in here so we got two people uh, we got their ids person ids and we will look at the person id table and we'll try to have a look at their license id because with license id i can go to the license table and see the car number plate and that is what we have in the data that it has h42w in it so for these two people we'll check in the persons as well so i'll just paste it in here and change it to person okay so let's run it and this is the license id for this guy so i'll copy this and paste it just below this guy and name it as license id license id is this okay and for this guy i'll run it and i'll just copy the license id okay license id okay i mistake here all right so we got their license id and now we can go to the driver license table driver 
license okay so id is an integer so this is the id and i'll just copy it paste it run it okay so okay driver license driver's license okay driver's license let's run it we got no data mm, okay let's copy this paste this and see so yeah we got the data for this guy we didn't got the data for this guy so he doesn't have a driver license or he doesn't have a you know he doesn't have a data for it okay so yeah this guy okay the plate number is confirmed so this is our guy because it has h42w and we had h42w okay so it is a chevrolet and the chevrolet is park ls this guy has brown eyes brown hairs is a male height 70 age 30 and all this information we have for our suspect okay he is our murderer now which means that jeremy bowers is the murderer let's copy and paste his name and let's make it bold and capital okay so what we'll do is here we have the uh, option of checking the solution and we'll copy his name from here and paste it here let's hope congrats okay you found the murderer but wait okay there's something more if you think you are up for challenge try querying the interview transcript of the murderer mm -hmm. there might be something fishy okay to find the real villain behind the crime okay if you feel especially confident in your sql skills try to complete this final step with no more than two queries you can try it uh, use the same insert statement all right so there is something fishy okay cp pradeeman we'll get back to the data and we will see his transcript so interview and the id for the murderer yeah id is this okay so yeah we need person id here it is okay let's see what he have okay no such column id we got person id all right so let's change it to person id okay so this guy said i was hired by a woman with a lot of money mm -hmm. he earned some money okay i don't know her name but i know she's around 5 5 that is 65 inches she's short okay and she's uh, around 5 5 to 5 7 okay here's a red and she drives a tesla model s mm -hmm. okay she got money i know that she attended the sql symphony concert three times in december 2017 let's just copy this detail as well okay so he was not the murderer he was the murderer but he was hired so we need to know who hired him okay so things to notice are these first is this the concert the red hairs to be noticed and tesla model s that is also something that we need to notice okay and the height is uh, also something we need to notice okay so what we can do is we have the company and the car model so we got the driver's license and here we can write about the gender uh, she is she eye color we can write uh, no we got hair colors so hair colors we can write and we can write the car maker and the model okay so what we can do is we can go for driver license okay and we got details like uh, add first detail which is eye color no hair color sorry hair hair color is equals to red second detail is that gender is female gender is female i guess it is written in terms of female or male let's just first run the query but we will lose the challenge to write two queries but let's just see that if it is written in in female or f or uh, yeah it is it is written female so what we can do is we can do and gender is equals to female and third thing is the car model car make okay car make that is tesla it is tesla and car type 
that is called model is equals to um, model s model s okay let's run this we got three people that right tesla are female have red hairs but their eyes are you know green blue and black so we have nothing about eyes so we cannot do anything we have height which is around 65 to 67 and all of them have 65 to 66 okay so we got three suspects now let's just copy this and paste it in here okay so what else we know is we know that uh, there was a concert named sql symphony concert and she went there three times so we have the facebook event check-in so what we can do is let's just remove this part of the query and change the table name to facebook event event check-in okay and what else we have we have person id where person id okay so we got there uh, no we don't have the person id actually it is from the license table so this is the license id so we don't have to go to the facebook event we have to go to the person first uh, and we have the license id where license id now i will use in clause in here so that i can provide multiple ids and get the detail of all three people and this is integer so i'll just have to paste it in here first person second person third person okay let's run it so we got the person id now now let's just copy it so i'll just change this to this so now i'm using person id and i'll change it to person id person id and we are now in the facebook events page facebook events check-in okay so i didn't paste the previous query i'll paste it uh, and then share it with you okay so let's run it and okay so there is no facebook events check-in i just made a spelling mistake i guess facebook event okay event check-in let's run it and we got all three same ids okay so this person is our culprit we got the murderer we got the murderer okay so this person id is the murderer with 99716 99716 uh this person is the murderer okay let's just copy this and check okay all right okay congrats you found the brain behind the murder so everyone in SQL City hails you as a greatest SQL detective at all times. Well done. Time to break out the campaign. Okay, so we solved our mystery. That's all in this video. For more such content, you can visit Starter Academy. You can subscribe the channel as well. So thank you all for watching the video. I'll add all the things in the description. You'll be able to download these files from the description and the link uh, for the game. So thank you for watching.